I have been given the task as the world's first reviewer to put UK-based Cyrus Audio's brand new flagship 40 series hi-fi products to the test. And that has forced me to do something I've not done in over a decade. Listen to the CD. Cyrus Audio turned 40 this year, and in honor of that, they have released a brand new flagship range of products called the 40 series. And there are four products in that series. One of them is a CD player. I mean, it's Cyrus. How can they not release a CD player? And that's been imaginatively called the 40 CD. And I genuinely have not had a CD player in my hi-fi system for over a decade because I was a very early adopter to computer-based music playback. So this review has definitely been fun. So let's start by taking a look at the 40 CD's form factor and what's new. It's still a classic Cyrus half-width size chassis. And from the top down, you can see the new overall form factor all the 40 series have in common. And it's an interesting way to design hi-fi as it's quite an industrial look. What I can't show you is how the products feel in your hands because the new chassis is formed aluminium and the rear half, the lines or the grooves, that just seems to add an extra level of like structural rigidity to the feel of the overall casework. I don't know if that's intentional or just you know, a byproduct of the design, but that rear half and the whole CD40 just feels very solid and sturdy when you hold it in your hands, but it's not overly heavy. But let's face it, most people will place their hi-fi into some kind of rack or furniture. And then all you see is the front, and that is where Cyrus have really moved things on. The front, I think, has a nice profile, massively helped by it being all toughened glass. And the glass, I think, adds an extra touch of quality because of how light reflects off it, different to metal or plastic. It also allows for a very nice implementation of a touch sensitive power button, which I think is my favorite part of this design and how it glows when you power it on rather than flash. It's a nicer way to do it. And I am a fan of the black and white color scheme for want of a better word. I think white text pops off of a black background really nicely and the whole black background can give us that lovely stealth-like look for those evenings where we dim the lights for those really serious listening sessions and we all enjoy those. And the three and a half inch screen is apparently color but you only ever see white text. And it's also bloody bright if you want it to be but in the menu, you can control the brightness of the screen independent to the brightness of the touch sensitive buttons on the left side that only appear when you need them. The 40 CD can be extra stealthy if you want it to, as can all of the new 40 series products because they all have the same auto hide function, which will dim the screens down and then when they detect motion, it will bring the screens back up. And there are sensors on the front of all of them to detect that motion. It's like a close range motion detection system. It's really quite a cool feature. And of course you can dim, you can see the amplifier there. You can dim the displays using the remote control as well. And I like how there's just a little bit of a fade. Hopefully you can see it there behind me. A little bit of a fade to that motion in action. It's another cool feature. And speaking of the remote control, something I didn't spot straight away. The remote is custom made with an overall shape profile that perfectly matches the 40 series overall shape profile, even the gray bar at the top. And I thought that was pretty cool. And also on the rear, there are the three lines of the Cyrus logo. That is your grip to slide the battery cover off. Again, that is another nice touch. The remote is nice quality. And I do like the larger buttons, they are better for my fat fingers. And this same remote can control all of the 40 series products and I appreciate that simplicity. On the rear might be a confusing set of connections at first. We have only single-ended analog outputs for using the internal DAC. And I can definitely see some preferring balanced outputs here too, that is me included. To use the 40 CD just as a transport, there is an optical and an RCA SP diff digital output. 
the USB and LAN network connections are only used for updating the units. They are not for streaming or playing any music files. There is the Cyrus proprietary connection for using the 40 PSU upgrade, which I will talk about the benefits of in a separate video. As a tease, the 40 PSU is like an amplifier sized power supply just for some key and critical parts of the CD player. And as an audiophile keen on sound quality, that's exciting to me because how can that not be a good thing? Speaking of power supplies, Cyrus say the servo technology that they have developed for their CD players. With the CD40, they have improved the power supply to be better at powering that servo technology, which is supposed to reduce noise as the digital data is extracted from the disk. And they also say there's an additional power supply in the CD40 and nine layers or stages of regulation. So the switching power supply that's in there provides a better supply to the analog stage. For the DAC section, that is all new. Cyrus are using the latest ESS 9039Q2M DAC chip. And chip nerds might be a little disappointed that Cyrus have not used the 9039 Pro chip here. But it's not just the DAC chip that creates the sound, it's how it's implemented as part of the full design. And Cyrus say that is all custom here. The use of an ESS DAC means there are too many different DAC filter modes to choose between. And I'm not normally a fan of this filter, but I found linear phase appodizing gave the best overall sound balance with the best vocal clarity and bass clarity. But you might see it totally differently, which is what the different options are there for. So let's talk about sound quality. And I was mostly using the 40 CD as a CD player. So that means using its internal DAC, mostly feeding into the Cyrus new 40 amp that you can see just there behind me, powering the speakers that you can see behind me that are my current reference speakers, the SVS Titans. And straight away, CD sounds different to me compared to the streaming music or streamed music that I'm used to, just a little bit different. And it sounded a little bit more old fashioned to me. And I don't actually mean anything negative in that statement. It just, maybe it was nostalgia because of the music. I don't know, something felt a little more old fashioned to me. And it definitely took me a little getting used to. And the 40 CD needed to run in and settle down. And I noticed the sound smoothed out some, but most importantly, it relaxed some. And the relaxed aspect is what I am referring to with my comment about the sound being a little old fashioned. Because I have found that with some streaming DAC types of products, especially the more affordable ones, they can sometimes sound a bit hard or a bit tense. Sometimes they can sound a bit thin or a combination of all three. And I kind of have a memory of the Cyrus CD player that I owned many years ago, having a little bit of that sound character too, but that's definitely not the case at all with the new 40 CD. If anything, it sounds extra smooth, very full, very warm and extra smooth. Not too smooth, but there is definitely no hard edges or edginess to the music at all, unless, it's, unless the music is intended to be like that, of course it's going to be. And I listened through a whole variety of albums, from MJ to Metallica, and the Cyrus 40 CD and amp pairing sounded very impressive in some key areas. And firstly is just the middle region of the sound. So the vocal region, the upper bass, and the lower treble region. For me, that was really impressive for being timed really nicely, organized really nicely. But most impressive was just how smooth, easygoing, and relaxed it sounded while being very full, like tonally full and saturated, like warm and pleasing, the whole region. That really stood out to me especially when I did some comparisons that I'll talk about in other reviews. Like that that middle region, the timing, the tone, the fullness of it all was just massively musically satisfying and pleasing. Yes, the sound was not the last word in clarity or detail or specificity. Instead, it gives you a healthy dose of it all, but it seems to just ease off the edges some. And that is what took a little getting used to because I am used to a more cutting sound. 
and I really started to appreciate the CD40's more relaxed sound. You know, they have a beer, just sit back and enjoy this music type of sound because it didn't come at the cost to the music's energy and my foot was still tapping to the music when it was good. So that was all great, but there are some other or some pros and cons with the rest of the sound presentation for me. One big pro of the 40 CD and amp pairing is the sound stage depth, the sound that can go away from you, you know, perceived as beyond the speakers at times. And I have a CD that's fantastic for testing that. It's called Fascination with Sound. It's very audiophile, but its tracks, I think there are 10 and 11 or 11 and 12, are absolutely fantastic for testing depth. It's like church, church type music, fantastic. And the Cyrus 40 pairing did a great job of, you know, the sense of go away from you, the sense of space, essentially. So that was great. Great. But while I'm talking about space, the whole or the overall soundstage felt very kind of set within a size of frame. This is hard to explain. So the 40 CD, it's definitely the 40 CDs, overall size of frame felt fixed. Like this is how big the soundstage is going to be. And I'm talking about like width here and out, and out into the room or three dimensional space. It felt fixed into a frame. So that was okay because everything within that frame was fantastically well done, timed well, great full, you know, lovely full tone, lovely tone, good soundstage, good organization, but it felt kind of limited to a frame size. It didn't feel fully expansive as I've heard other systems, you know, perform or sound in this room. The treble is detailed, nice and smooth, and has a nice pleasant ring to it in the main, excuse the pun. But I did find it to be a little play it safe, which I generally don't mind, However, I did notice that with some CDs, just a little bit, and it is only a little bit of lack of composure maybe, or just a little bit of grit that would creep into the upper vocals or the presence region, just a little bit. And it wasn't there all of the time, just with some CDs, but I did notice it a number of times. So of course, I'm going to mention it here. But I'm glad to say in the main, the Cyrus 40 CD and 40 amp pairing delivered a very nice full and pleasing bass with very good drive and good timing and music depending, it can be alive and punchy or very nuanced and detailed. But it's always a nice full pleasing bass and I of course really like that. However, if I was really pushing the volume for an album like this, which is Rudimental's Home, that's commercial drum and bassy type music really, it's got a lot of heavy bass in some of the tracks. In the main, the bass was excellent from this CD. Really full and like pressure feeling, you know, warmth feeling in the room. I really appreciate that for music like this with like a nice bouncy flow to it. So that part of the bass was fantastic. But the SVS Titan speakers are demanding speakers because they're like speakers and subwoofers in one which is great because they deliver a big scale bass with very deep bass at times. And it was the deepest bass notes that I found were losing their composure just a little bit. Far from terrible, but like I heard it just a little bit. The composure wasn't quite as good as like the upper bass notes that were really kind of driving and with fantastic pressure. So like just, just a little lack of composure there. And that was the perfect time for me to do a comparison. So I started listening to the 40 CD just as a transport, feeding digital music into my reference stack, the Chord Hugo TT2. And this was interesting as the music presentation totally changed. And Taylor Swift still sounded like, <laughs> you get the idea, but the presentation changed because now all of a sudden the music was definitely grander. It felt more grand and expansive, certainly in the height plane and definitely in like the, the dimension plane, like 3D plane, that felt bigger. The music was faster, more nimble, more light on its feet. There was more of a focus on the small details or the leading edges of the music. And there was a bit more drive and enthusiasm to the music. I think all of these things are key characteristics of chord electronic stacks. So I'm still hearing all of those. But interestingly, I found myself missing some of that Cyrus sound, fullness, smoothness, and that relaxed aspect. The, the, the side of the Cyrus pairing that I'd become quite used to by then, I was missing that just a little bit. And certainly like the fullness of the tone of the Cyrus pairing, because that has been a real standout thing for me. That middle region has been really enjoyable to listen to. The chord opens up the musical window much wider, that's for sure. And it sounds the cleaner of the two. And then back to what I said about the CD40, given this set size soundstage frame, you don't get that from the chord. 
However, within that frame, music is presented so fantastically well, good enough to be hanging with the more expensive chord DAC in its own way. And I would actually say I found the 40 CD sound balance worked better with the 40 amp sound balance. That pairing seemed to work better than for a musical enjoyment, just for the overall musical pleasing factor enjoyment, I found it worked better than introducing the chord into the system. So that was really interesting. But it did show to me that there is more possible there, right? And that's where the addition of the 40 PSU really starts to get me excited because you kind of, how can it not? And again, a little tease, the 40 PSU with the, with the amp, but particularly the CD player makes a really big difference. The kind of difference that would make me want to keep those two here and use them as part of a review system. And I say, I haven't listened to a CD in over 10 years. So that, that's how good that setup, that pairing sounds. But what about the 40 CD with a totally different amplifier? And I tested that as well with the Griffin Diablo 300 because I think the all black industrial look of both matches up great. So therefore it could be a system someone would put together. And the Diablo 300 has been one of the best integrated amplifiers for around a decade. So this was a real test of the 40 CD's quality. And no surprise to me really, the 40 CD sounded really good through the Griffin. It had all of the same sound characteristics that I've been enjoying, like that relaxed, quite sure-footed, very solid, planted, warm, full sound. I really enjoyed that. And then the Griffin adds something different to the party with its very muscular sound. We don't really need to get into that here. But what this test showed to me was that the 40 CD is more than capable of standing or being used as part of a different hi-fi system, something without other Cyrus products in it. It can still be great there and I just really like it. I just like its overall sound. So to sum up my little trip down CD playing memory lane, listening to music I have not done in a long time, I had forgotten how good CDs can sound. What my testing proved to me is that the CD40 is a great sounding CD player on its own, in its own right. And I think it has a very nicely balanced sound, the kind of sound that will work really well across many different hi-fi systems or you know how you might put it into a different hi-fi system because it's not too far down any sound rabbit hole to make it quirky or odd it's just a nice nice sounding thing like it's not it's not perfect but it's just nicely balanced overall and i have to say you know after spending a number of weeks listening to the 40 cd it Proves and shows that this is far from Cyrus's first rodeo into making CD players. Of course, they've been doing it for a really long time. And it shows, you, you can tell, you can hear it. And it also shows why they still make CD players in 2024. Because as much as I don't want to admit it, they sound really nice. The CD40 sounds really very nice. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see the rest of my reviews on these new Cyrus 40 products, the 40ST, the 40 Amp and the 40 PSU.